guys want a 69 the news? Uh, yeah. yeah. 69 news is there. Yes. And congrats are in order for Allison Corpus, who won the U.S. Women's Open at Pebble Beach for her first LGB. Oh, no. Sorry. L. PGA title. All these letters mm. are very confusing. Agreed. Allison Corpus. And uh, she became the first American in 20 years to make the U.S. Women's Open her first LPGA title. And she won by three shots and closed with a three under 69. Yeah, she did. Yeah. What a 69. Well done, right. Allison. She took on the $2 million prize, Whoa. which is the uh, richest ever for an LPGA major Pretty champion. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, this oh, one, I'll, I'll tell you, this one is a, a little dark. Okay. 61-year-old guy named Edward Joseph Farkas Sr. was a, a longtime truck driver who would drive across the country transporting oversized loads in the big rig, first of all, loads. loads. But uh, Edward didn't do it alone. He always had his dog, a terrier named Buddy, in Hello. the truck with him. Until recently, Edward was uh, parked. Buddy got loose from the truck and ran across the road. What road? Uh, Highway 69. Yeah, noise. Yeah. 69. <laughs> Edward ran trying to catch him, and that's when a car hit and killed them both. Oh, great. Uh, both. Like I said, wow. a little dark, but 69. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's Dude. really dark. Uh, yes. <laughs> but 69. Yeah. But hey, it all comes together <laughs> on 69 years. But hey. Yeah. Hey. You can't. Uh, the news yeah. doesn't choose. It just. It is what it is. It is what it is. That's right. All right, there's a new addition to the San Francisco skyline. A Japanese artist named Hiroshi Sugimoto mm -hmm. planted a sculpture on a hilltop in Yerba Buena Island in the San Francisco Bay. Okay. It's a stainless steel sundial called Point of Infinity. Uh, Infinity. Okay. And it's so tall that the uh, the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration, had to sign off on it. How tall is it? I, how tall? 69 feet tall. Oh, wow. Yeah. Whoa. 69, dudes. Yeah. <gasps> it's uh, not going to be open to the public until the fall, but in the meantime, it is visible from several points in San Francisco and from the Bay Bridge. Wow. Oh. A yeah, tall ass sundial. That's huge. That is a uh, you know, and you know what? With that story, I'm sorry. I should have gone with San Francisco 69ers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. damn, my yes. bad. Mistakes were made. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in other news, 69 in the news here. A new Gallup poll asking people: Do you think transgender athletes should be able to play on sports teams mm -hmm. that match their current gender identity, or should they only be allowed to play on sports teams that match their birth gender? Only 31% said they should be allowed to play on teams that match their current gender identity, but 69% say, <laughs> hell nah. <laughs> play on the team that matches your birth gender. Every day, 69 News is covering what's happening right now. And by the way, that percentage up uh, 7% from the last time they asked that question in yeah. oh, wow. 2021. Other 69 the news. Some uh, bad news out of South Carolina where this woman was out on a walk with her dogs and got attacked by an alligator. Uh-oh. Another one of these stories. Another one? Dang. Yeah. Someone called the cops after seeing it happen, but according to the report, when they arrived on the scene, the 69-year-old woman oh, no. was unresponsive at the edge of the lagoon. Not you and me do some 69. And, uh... <laughs> and she's dead? They were able to uh, go get her out of there, but they were stopped when they saw that there was a nine-foot alligator guarding her body. Oh, hell no. Oh, wow. So they're like, this is mine. All right. It's all yours. Yeah, you wow. keep that. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. Uh, eventually, they euthanized the gator and <sighs> safely removed the woman's body. Uh, no word on what happened to the dogs. Now, Ravy, Damn. you're big on sharks or just sharking. Sharks are just sharking. Do you believe that gators are just gatoring? I actually do. Yeah. Yeah. Gator's just being a gator. Yeah, I agree. She's walking too close to, to where the, the gators are, you know? Yeah, I agree. Stay on the freaking sidewalk away right. from the ponds. Nice. 69. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. A uh, man in Connecticut is looking at seven years in prison after getting arrested for violating a protective order, and he was already in jail when he did it. Ask me. How? 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 Well, first of all, he was in jail on a disorderly conduct charge for violating another protective order from back in December. And uh, while he was locked up, he called the chick who took out the protection order on him. Called her a lot, too. 69 times. <laughs> oh, dang. Exact. Yeah. Oh, no. 69 Bro. times. Give it a rest. Dude, what are yeah, you dude. Doing? Yeah. 69. <laughs> she reported to the police, and uh, he was charged again for violating that protective order. Idiot. 
I guess this dude just never wants to get out of jail. Apparently yeah. not. He loves it there. What an idiot. It all comes together on 69 News. That's right. Police in Florida, they're working on a case where a knife-carrying thief stole valuable birds from their cages from someone's home. Aww. Oh, no. Home security video shows the guy and the uh, the knife. You can see it right there in the video. He goes through the, uh, the back of the house, takes the birds out of the house, ended up taking 20 cockatoos, first of all, cockatoo, 20 pigeons, 15 canaries, pigeons. 10 baby cockatoos, and four parakeets. Now, for those of you uh, playing along at home, that would be 69 birds in total, dude. (laughs) 69, dudes! Yeah. (gasps) The stolen birds worth more than $10,000. Dang. Yeah. Must have been these racing pigeons or something. Yeah. Yeah. Those are valuable. Yeah. Here, and I'll, uh, I'll give you one more. 69 the news story here we go every day 69 news is covering what's happening right now let's see Uh, what you got one with a few less death okay well there was was there's the one but the gator was the gator there's two you agreed with yeah you were happy about that one i mean i'm not celebrating oh you (laughs) seem a little celebrating here we go here we go (laughs) here we go yeah, what was all the, all the fist pumping? Right. Yeah. Why did you pass me a note that and, said, let's have a yeah, party today? Yeah. And all the clapping. <laughs> all right, here we go. Valentina Vasilev, sure. a Russian peasant who lived from 1707 to 1782. Oh. And who is alleged to have given birth to the most children in recorded history. Whoa. However, it has uh, never been officially confirmed. But between 1725 and 1765, she gave birth to 69 children. No way. What? 69. Yeah. Between what yeah, years? It's hot. 69, dude. Yeah. Between way. what years? Uh, 1725 and 1765. 16 pairs were twins. Seven sets of triplets. Four sets of quadruplets. Talk about a hot dog down a hallway. I don't. Talk about. Uh, I don't More know. like throwing one in the mouth of a volcano. Mm. Doubting <laughs> Thomas right here. What's the <laughs> highest number modern day, you think? Hmm. Mm. I don't those, know. If only there was Google. Let me look. Probably like look the, it up. Those Duggar people. Yeah, twenty one yeah. and counting. Twenty. Or whatever the hell that is. Right. Whatever <laughs> their name is now. Yeah, you got to figure like back in those times, it's not like, uh, you know. That's, yeah, that's back all. in seventeen hundreds Russia. Yeah, <laughs> that's all vaginal, right? When your only en- entertainment was banging, you know. Yeah, right. Mm. They didn't have TV. They just they sure uh, didn't. Did you find out, man. <laughs> I'm looking. Uh, They're just banging in the uh, straw. Uh, <laughs> like in the 50s, it was like 28, 27. 27 kids? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you, it's roughly between 22 and 25 kids in modern day. Modern day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What do you want to do tonight? Nothing um, like old whore in Russia. I want bang and straw. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they say Genghis Khan, though, who Put didn't. seed in me. <laughs> we are almost to lucky 69. <laughs> there is straw. Look at this pile of straw. <laughs> Let's bang. Are you horny or just me? Let's do the sex. Yeah, they say Genghis Khan, obviously, who didn't birth the kids. They said that he had up to a thousand. You get drunk on vodka, you put seed in me. <laughs> right here on the straw. <laughs> I'm straw. I lay here like poppy with litter. <laughs> I see straw pants get so tight. Yeah. I'm, I turn the straw into a sex wedge. Lower your... Uh... <laughs> Put on negligee. <laughs> Try not to get poked by straw. Undo, oh, yeah, that's hot. Undo boost here. Yeah. 69. Yeah. <laughs>